John, why don't you read this? This is a little off topic. Read your notification. Oh, is this just happened? This literally just right. happened. Yeah, it's good news. Breaking news. Dun, dun, dun. Breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> Roger Goodell says evidence demands at least one year ban for Deshaun Watson. Does not know timeline of appeal ruling. What? What evidence? Can we see the evidence, please? Yeah, because that's funny. The judge said there wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> so you know more than the federal judge. Right. And like you said, they're not presenting new evidence. So it's the same stuff. I have seen evidence of an NFL policy that says three games. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Yep. I, I just don't understand. I just want to touch on that real quick. I mean, I know we've harped on this, but what is he talking about? They are hell bent that he will miss a year. That is just at him. least. So when his puppet boy comes out, this guy who's less qualified than the original individual makes his ruling, you know, he's just setting it up. But the judge literally just, we all read the report. Yeah. You told us she was qualified. Apparently she wasn't. And I've had so many want. people tell me that in the judge's report that she released, like, well, she cited all this evidence against him. I said, she she really didn't cite evidence against him. It was it was more probable than not a lot of these situations. So it was a lot of it was still speculation. Correct. And she said she ruled six games. If she would have thought right. it should have been a year, she would have said a year. Right. And like you said, John, the precedent was three games for anything close to what Deshaun's been accused of. So she went double that already. Yeah. So we've talked about like the whole situation with Calvin Ridley just putting a huge like uh. Dark spot on the league, I guess. Yeah. How does having a policy, blatantly ignoring it, and making up your own punishment for something because of media outcry, how does that not make the league look terrible? I don't know, but it's not, it is not a good look. Because, it's, look, I'm not defending everything Deshaun Watson did. No. Nope. I'm just Allegedly. saying. Alleg- right. right. Sue Robinson thought there was something. But... There is a policy, and you have to uphold the policy. No, no you don't, apparently. <laughs> well, you have to uphold it to to make your league look good. I mean, this is, I mean, it's just not a good look. See, what, what I keep harping, and, and again, it's not, like you said, not supporting anything that he allegedly did or anything. It's the fact that they're trying to punish him way beyond anything that's ever been punished before for this type of thing. The, the punishment is not fitting the alleged crime. Yeah, like I said, I mean, people screaming about Calvin Ridley getting a year for betting fifteen hundred dollars. Dante Stallworth got a year for killing somebody. I can I can go the, I can say the same thing the other way. Yeah, right. So right. it's you know that's the problem. That is the problem. That's why there's supposed to be this policy. That's why this new yeah this and this new process got brought into place this year to try to avoid this type of BS that's happening. And Goodell just rolls right into it again. Yeah. I mean, it, it's crazy. So I didn't want to, we just did a whole episode on that, but that just came through. So I figured it's going to be a topic of discussion. So we should probably touch on it, but I mean, give me a break. This is, this is just not going to end anytime soon. No, no. Do you see the article too, where all the uh, everybody's talking about how like it's how disgraceful it is the Watson contract? Have you guys seen anything? Oh yeah, like I've that? read I've read quite a few about that about how uh-huh. they basically cushioned his contract year one so that he didn't lose any money. I just want to touch on this real quick because yeah, I've read this it. multiple multiple times. So all these all these people are calling out the Browns and saying you know that they basically made it so that he couldn't be punished you know financially. There are six other Cleveland Browns that their contracts are set up the exact same way and they're not hiding anything. Some of these guys, Miles Garrett, 1 million in his first year. And I'm talking about new contract. I'm not talking about rookie contracts, anything like that. Nick Chubb, 1.2 million. Amari Cooper, 1.1 million. Wyatt Teller, 1.5 million. This is something that Andrew Barry does strategically so that he can have the most cap space in the league and go out and obviously we're not spending any of it right now, but whether it's going to be next year or the year after, cause that money rolls over. So I'm kind of tired of like reading that, that we've, we set it up so that Deshaun Watson doesn't have to financially be punished for anything, well, especially cause they can find him. Yeah. If they wanted to find him $15 million, go find him $15 million. <laughs> right. I mean, he made his money from sitting out last year. He still got paid you know, by the Texans. If you want to find him for last year's contract or whatever, go ahead. He's got money. Find him. Just find him. It has nothing to do with they're trying to financially secure him for this year because this is, they think it's 
comes down to suspensions. Mm-hmm. It has nothing to do with that. I, I don't. I don't want to like get political, but this is just the way the country is these days. You don't actually have to like. You don't have to know for sure. You can just put it out there, then let it sort itself out later. Yeah, that's, somebody, and that's and, the media. And, and somebody, that's what they're doing. Yes, yeah. somebody put that out there, and then it caught. And now you got people who will just, they don't even like read articles. They just read headlines. Yep. yep. And then they just base their entire opinion off that. And then you just have a country full of stupid people. So yep. <laughs> I, it, it's unbelievable. And no matter how many times you say that's not what happened, yes, it is. No, it's not. It's been widely reported that it's not. I've gotten an argument with somebody on Twitter because they were like, nobody else is uh, was is making forty five million as a signing bonus. Nobody else made two thirty. It's all based on it's relative to the contract, yeah, right? Percentage wise, it's the same across the board. P- and w- Andrew Barry's not the only GM who does this. Mo- good GMs do this. I just saw somebody on Twitter. Somebody on like the Broncos or somebody got a contract, and then I think they're almost their whole first year of signing bonus. And it was only getting, and somebody tweeted and said, they must be expecting some kind of suspension. <laughs> right. Right. So it was miles Garrett and oh, Nick Chubb yeah, right. and Wyatt Teller. Well, and, you yeah. remember, I mean, this is, we've talked about this so many times. This is just how it is with these contracts, especially in the quarterback market. I mean, a couple of years ago, Patrick Mahomes got a ridiculously never heard of before, almost like a baseball contract. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And then it was what, after that was like Aaron Rodgers was like, the Crazy highest amount. paid quarterback, and then it was you know, Josh Allen got paid huge money, and and has everything, it just, yeah, yeah, has everything to do with the expectation that the salary cap is going to go up. It has, it's just smart. It's just smart managing of the books, but it's whatever you guys it, and the media just and we've talked about. It, they just they hate Cleveland. <laughs> that that they is hate fair. Cleveland. Yeah, I just don't understand. This guy says the evidence, bro. She told you the evidence said six games. Like you don't know more than her, you're you're mansplaining her job to her. You know, like I don't yeah. understand why'd you hire her then if you're so f-ing smart, you know more than she does. Then why why even hire? And in the 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 players union, what a f-ing joke they are mm-hmm. to yep. to agree to this process. I mean, you had to know, you had to know. That if it didn't go the way the NFL wanted, they would just do what they wanted anyways. And then Goodell appoints this f-ing puppet who's less qualified than the original judge. It'd be like in the actual justice system if the Supreme Court said something and they went to like the new Philly magistrate and had her do the appeal. It makes no f-ing sense. Yeah, it also makes no sense in the regular justice system that one of the one of the parties in the case gets to appeal to itself. Yeah. No. It's not how this works. Yeah, it'd be like if the it pro- is how this works. It'd be like, well, I mean, in real life, but yeah, yeah. in the NFL, it's how it works. But what yeah. the f- it'd be like if the prosecutor was like, "Eh, I don't like that ruling. I think I'm gonna uh, like the the uh, DA, the assistant DA was like, I think I'm gonna appeal to the DA. Yes. Right? Yeah. <laughs> how do you feel about that? Let's appeal. <laughs> yeah, it, it just I'm makes to you. it makes no sense. Why they agreed to it in the first place is just yeah. f-ing mind boggling. Browns fans, we just want to take a quick break in the action to remind you about DraftKings. DraftKings changed the fantasy game forever in 2012. Now, 10 years later, they're doing it again with Rainmakers Football, their first ever NFT fantasy game, a new way to enjoy daily fantasy football, a new shot to win millions in prizes, and the only NFT fantasy game licensed by the NFLPA. Playing Rainmakers football is simple. Buy, sell, bid, and win player cards of the biggest names in the game through regular drops and auctions. Build your collection of football stars and enter free Rainmaker football contests all season long to compete for millions in jaw-dropping prizes. Each week, craft your lineups of athletes from your NFT collection and rack up points for touchdowns, receptions, and more, just like you would in daily fantasy football. The next generation of fantasy sports is almost here. Download the DraftKings Daily Fantasy app now. Sign up with promo code TPPN. Click the Rainmakers title and opt in so you can be ready for the next drop. Play free for millions in prizes all football season and build the ultimate NFT fantasy franchise with Rainmakers football. That's promo code TPPN only at DraftKings. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com for details. 